Simple Library Review.com. Today we're going to be checking out Acoustomatic Engine by Cymatic Form. Instrument developer Jeremiah Savage has a new company and has a new flagship instrument, Acoustomatic Engines. Now, most of us are already familiar with the developer's work on libraries such as Kinetic Metals and Kinetic Toys, and with his latest instrument, he continues to experiment with conceptual sampling. Acoustomatic Engines explores themed sound design worlds. Acoustomatic Engines downloads is 1.22 gigabytes. It's a sound design instrument. Sample sets are from aerophones, and that's anything that vibrates from air pressure, friction, those are moving objects, bowing, scrapings, struck, that's percussion sounds, bells, piano, tonal, and atonal, soundscapes like tonal, atonal, anything with a sense of environment or mood, and machines, movements, arpeggiators, and sequences driven patterns. They're categorized into three different categories, sci-fi, noir, Lovecraftian horror, and steampunk worlds, with 500 contact instruments in total. Library is a contact player instrument compatible with the full or free version of Contact 5.8 burnt higher, and is also NKS compatible. Acoustomatic Engines normally sells for $99. Before we dive head deep into acoustic engine presets, listen through the instrument, uh, I'm going to share a little demo that I mocked up in the middle of doing the review. I got inspired, had to step off the review and create this. I wanted to share this little ditty I was able to create in, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. Really enjoying this instrument. I hope you enjoy the demo. Then we'll jump back into the first look. I've got Acoustomatic Engines loaded into my Libraries tab right here. You can see it's got those three main folders, Lovecraftian Horror, Sci-Fi Noir, Steampunk. Um, we're just going to randomly flip through a whole bunch of these because I really want to hear the instrument and get a feel for it. Uh, I'll include a link over to Sample Library Reviews Acoustomatic Engine page where we'll have all of the developers demos and there's several videos on functionality, programming, and everything the library has to offer. Uh, for this first slick video, I just want to get a feel for it. I want to play through a bunch of presets, listen to a bunch of sounds, maybe fiddle with some knobs. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and mute my mic and we'll just flip through some of the first presets, randomly selecting around. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a pretty wacky one to start with. <laughs> that one's called Alien Abduction. This is in the Aerophones folder, which, uh, as I'd mentioned before, these are wind-driven instruments. Yeah, there's quite a few neat textures going on. The first big thing I want to draw your attention to is this warp control in the center. And as you hear, this changes all of our macros at once, and it does some really crazy stuff. <laughs> In addition to that warp control, there's also some acoustics and then controls for ADSR over here. Uh, this is electrics, acoustics, and resonance samples, and that's pretty wacky. <laughs> What the? <laughs> this is an insane sounding organ. One thing I want to note right away, um, on instruments kind of like this, where it's sound design but pitched across the keyboard, you really get drastically different feels from the high notes to low notes that could be used as drones to mid notes. Become more atmospheric. Now we're only going to flip through a handful of each of these because there's a lot of categories. go ahead and go into a uh, frictions category in the Lovecraftian horror sample set. <laughs> Uh, 
That is an awesome sound there. And I think this is probably a good time to go into the expert mode to have a little look because I believe this is showing us our uh, different um, samples that are loaded up. Effects controls, arpeggiator. And quite a few other settings here. Let's move along and listen to a few more. Let's play around a little bit here for a second. Yes, yeah, so there's all kinds of neat stuff going on in here. We got electrics on one side and acoustics on the other side. Now I'm curious as to why this isn't a snapshot instrument instead of a preset instrument. So we've got every single one of these is its own preset rather than having uh, the ability to just flip through and use this guy here to look at them as snapshots. Yeah, I'm already loving the instrument. So far I'm thinking this is the kind of such unique stylized sound design that could fit in so many different kind of scoring situations. It's really going to depend on your vision and your score. You can integrate this with all kinds of electronic or just pure orchestral, and you'll really get a whole another dimension to what you're going to be scoring. <laughs> Go ahead and jump into some of the other presets in another category. This is movements. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. 
this one's showing us how the arpeggiator here is set up. It's doing all kinds of stuff. It's really changing our warp function, which controls all of our uh, macros here at once. Looks like you got a couple different sequencers set up. This is the warp sequencer is on. Because it's controlling not only the warp, it looks like it's controlling other things as well. <laughs> Okay, this one has some pretty cool effects here, and they are tempo synced, whether it's a delay or an actual sample playback. Um, This is a uh, repeat arpeggio, so it's not doing it. The arpeggiator isn't controlling the warp anymore. And here we can see we've got some different controls up, down. random oh man this this is just an awesome kind of programming in this one let's take a little look at what this is going on here yeah, we got programming going on for both uh, the sequencer on the warp controls as well as the samples jumping around. And I'm at 118, let's go up to 150. Tempo syncing, really cool stuff. Let's move into the next category, soundscapes, in our first Lovecraftian horror folder. impressed with these soundscapes so far and loving that the warp function is changing some really cool samples we're getting a really neat pitch bend here The 
This one's got a bit of uh, automation. And the warp built into it. There's some serious depth and fidelity to these uh, samples. Going through this engine it's just can become chaotic at times. Um, but then yeah, I think what I love about the in instrument thus far is you got your different sample sets, electric uh, and the acoustics, and you're able to kind of dial those as you'd like. <laughs> So now we're in the Struck. This is the percussion collection within the Lovecraftian horror. Pretty cool stuff. Let's check out some more of these. So far, I'm finding the Struck ones to be a little bit more playable rather than pad soundscapes and sound design. These are much more, you know, tonal percussion instruments. <laughs> Such unique character. <laughs> it's like the devil's dub right there. Thank you. 
quite a few of these as well. Quite a few of these uh, percussion struck instruments. Let's move on to our second category sci fi noir. We'll start with the wind. Uh, instruments, anything that's been sampled with wind friction, I guess. so much going on in each and every uh, one of these presets. I'm finding it hard to believe that there's 500 of them because from one to the next, I'm not hearing a lot of overlap. These are very individual sound design instruments. <laughs> of the sci-fi category. Yeah, you go from having this... Amazingly layered, textured soundscape to having a pulse. Let's listen to one more.
and we've reached the point of the review. I'm going to stop. You guys won't notice, but I'm going to write a little demo. Maybe I'll share it with you. All right, let's continue our adventure sci-fi noir. Uh, let's go into the frictions, check out a few of these. crazy. Yeah, what I'm wondering now is uh, just how many samples there are. Because some of these presets are obviously eight layers uh, shifting and moving through the layers as to where the samples show up. But some of these samples on their own, once you start to isolate them, of course you still got effects and filters controlled by the macros, but some of just the samples alone are really cool. All right, we need to uh, move it a little quicker. I know I spent a little more time on the first folder. But I've only got another half hour here. Yeah, this is really cool. This is an awesome preset. We're in the machine section of sci-fi noir. <laughs>
right, moving on to soundscapes category inside the sci-fi noir. into the struct category in sci-fi noir. <laughs> Moving into the next category, steampunk. Start off with the aerophones. Listen to a few of these.
Moving into the machines category of Using this, the step animator in this way with the warp for the macros is just so unique and inventive.
creative. Here's the struck instruments over the steampunk instrument folder. So let's just randomly listen to two more. This thing is huge. Like you hear 500 presets and you think, okay, it's a serious amount of presets. And when you dig in, you really start to get the feel for just how much curation went into these. In my opinions from what we've previewed here today, I think I would have liked to have seen this as a instrument with tons of snapshots. The reason being is so that I could map out all my CCs for everything, and then only change my presets in snapshots and retain all of my controls for MIDI CC automation. My other, I don't know if it's a critique, but my other question is, you know, what sample's going on here? What, would it be kind of cool to be able to go in and select the samples on each side um, or would have that been a, been too chaotic the other critique I'll say uh, is the majority of the presets seem uh, just a little bit busy um, they obviously could be one note scoring wonders which is absolutely fantastic um, but my thought is are they too busy uh, or is that just a matter of me getting in and starting to tweak them or, and turn off some of the things and only having two samples that move and change with whatever I'm creating now for the pros which highly outweigh my thoughts on the critiques of Acoustomatic Engine the sound curation the sound design itself is really spectacular. I think that as a fan of the Kinetic Metals library, um, developer has really taken this 
another giant leap forward, not only in the amount of presets, but the sound design itself is of another world. Um, and I think the categories are helpful. They're really nice. I think that the division of the different ways they've kind of curated the different samples with the different kinds of folders for winds, frictions, percussive pads, and soundscapes, that, that kind of thing really works well when you're kind of looking for something. But I'm wondering if that it couldn't have been something that's done inside the engine instead of jumping back over and flipping through presets again. That was a critique again. I already had that critique once. I'm not trying to critique because I really like this library. I really love the sound design and I especially like that it's so unique and quirky and otherworldly yet could fit for all kinds of scoring, suspense, horror, even dramatic stuff uh, trailers for sure tons of different ways you can use this kind of sound design and performances for trailers for the things i'm going to be probably jumping to would be the struck instruments um, i'm always looking for a way to just play some simple chords and melodies and have it instantly orchestrate out something for me that's exciting and unique and i think that acoustomatic engine really excels at that but what do you guys think about this? Um, again, this is my first time diving in, having a look through the instrument, listen to the presets, and it's your first time as well. So you tell me, what do you think about Acoustomatic Engines? Please comment below. Always interested to know your thoughts on the library. I think at the asking price of just 99 bucks, it is a very good buy, if not a top pick. Uh, you'd let me know, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Are you picking this up? Thanks so much for spending some time with me here today to check out Acoustomatic Engines. I'll include links to everything, including the page we've got with all the demos and videos, as well as a link over to the developer. Please like, share, and subscribe. Always appreciate your support. And we'll see you back here on Fridays for the weekly Deal Compressor Show, where we highlight all the latest sales, new releases, and featured freebies.